Today I'm gonna to show you guys some of the tools that I highly recommend you have before you start cleaning windows. Now you can get started with the basics. A simple bucket, it doesn't have to be fancy, just a five gallon bucket will do. Some type of a towel to clean up the slop and detail the windows. Surgical or these fish scale towels, either one. A squeegee, a scrubber, or that's a T-bar with a mop head, and some soap, and you're off. There's a few extra things that I'd suggest you get though. Watch here. The first thing you're definitely gonna need is a squeegee. Now, I have here, it's the Mowerman accelerator handle and um, with the Ederay brass channel. Um, now, I do really like the Mowerman channels, but they're a little bit more complicated as far as technique goes. So starting out, you might want to stick with just this you can buy the complete squeegee built exactly like this. Just a fantastic job. The main thing about it, and there's two versions of this, the original and then the 2.0. And the main difference is one of them actually goes to like negative five degrees. That's the angle from this to this. Um, but it's adjustable and it pivots. And that makes it so that you can get windows with a pole fairly easily. It'll go back and forth while you fan. And you can get, let's say there's a window that's straight out. You can actually use a pole and go straight down. And this adjustable angle makes it so that you can get from unique directions. So I highly advise that this is your first squeegee. Um, don't get a squeegee from Home Depot. This is one of the most important things that you get from a high quality um, window cleaning supplier. It's helpful to have an extra um, smaller channel um, the first one you want to get is definitely something in the 12 to 14 inch range um, it gives you kind of the versatility that you need whether you're doing residential or commercial when you're starting out you might not necessarily know which one you're gonna focus on 14 inches is pretty standard um, sometimes the larger squeegee is gonna be harder to wield on a smaller residential window so get something a little smaller to medium size so that you have that flexibility um, and then if you're gonna do more commercial stuff, you can always upgrade later on, but the 14 inch channel will get the job done. Um, and then I like to use a six inch channel. Again, you can use the brass or whatever uh, material you like for um, a squeegee, but uh, this is just the Mowerman liquidator channel. Uh, there's, I believe it's their six inch, um, but if you can find a channel that's four to six inches, you can always switch channels if you need to in the middle of a job and just have one, um, keep it, on your, in your pocket or in a pouch on your belt. Um, it's handy to have around in case you come across French panes though. Um, and then if you're doing commercial stuff, you can also use it to mop up some of the slop on the windowsills. Next, you're gonna want to have a bucket and some dish soap. And brand doesn't matter so much. The bucket, obviously the five gallon buckets, they're cheap, they're less than five bucks. You can get them anywhere. Later on, you can get a more traditional shaped window cleaning bucket. Highly advisable, makes a big difference. Um, easier to slip that applicator in there and you don't have to have as much water um, so it's a lighter thing to carry around than the big five gallon bucket you got to get that five gallon bucket more than half the way full and you're having to tote that around the house that's a little more cumbersome than you need speaking of which inside I always use a spray bottle you can get these things for less than five bucks Home Depot or Lowe's this one comes from Home Depot it's got the best spraying action you can get um, it has you know, you can get kind of like that pencil jet action uh, if you want to, if you're trying to get the little cracks in the window sills clean, or you can get a nice fan motion right there. And it's great for getting solution onto the glass or cleaning up the window tracks as well. Um, the soap, you can use different brands, it doesn't hurt, but most window cleaners, for some reason, we all gravitate towards Don. It does do a great job. It's hard to meet it, it has a good amount of slipperiness. Um, there's better, or when I say better, there's window cleaning solutions that have a little extra slip and slide in it so that when you're squeegeeing, it does a little bit easier job on your fanning technique. Keeps the water from dissolving too quickly off the glass and drying up. Um, lets the window stay wetter for a little bit longer so it gives you time to switch tools and get your squeegee all the way up and down that glass. You're gonna need something to scrub the windows with. And so I advise if you're only getting one, get a 14 inch mop or um, T-bar and one that can move. A pivoting handle makes all the difference so that you can do that pull work and reach from different angles. 
Um, it also gives you a little extra reach if you're trying to get up as high as you can. Having it angled like this, you can just reach a little bit. That extra few inches can make a big difference. The difference between having to use a step stool and being able to just stay on your two feet when you're reaching a little bit more. And then if you can get two different applicator or mops, if you have an extra, um, makes it so that you can have something clean. You might clean the inside or the outside and for some reason it gets extra dirty and you might just need to swap it out and get a clean applicator to make the rest of your window cleaning journey a little easier for the rest of the day. Um, they slip on fairly easily. Um, this one's made by Unger. Um, these are gonna typically last you at least a year or two uh, before they start fading down. So yeah, get a couple of these if you can, but if you can only get one, make sure it's 14 inch. You can always upgrade and get the longer ones later on. This is an 18 inch. Um, this is the next best size to get. Uh, if you're doing French panes or something and you don't have a smaller applicator, you can just rub them with the microfiber rag. And I've had situations where my mop was extremely dirty and so I literally just found a sponge and scrubbed the windows with that. So you can do things in a pinch to kind of work around. But um, you want to get a 14 inch scrubber that gives you that extra reach where you're able to use it on a pole and have it pivot. Speaking of rags, I use just any bag of microfiber rags for mopping up the slop and cleaning up the tracks. Um, but I never want to use these or you never want to use these to actually detail the clean glass. It'll leave smears and streaks. It was one of my first lessons as a window cleaner. So you can get either surgical towels or my favorite, one of these fish scale towels. I don't even use the surgical towels anymore because these do such a good job at detailing the glass. Um, they are fantastic. You can get the large ones and one big one will last you a whole house, um, you know, three, 4,000 square feet. And you just keep finding little clean spots on this cloth and detail the edges of the glass with it. It does a great job. And then while I would advise that you get one of these folding ladders, you're able to set them up on stairs. It's, this is the Gorilla Ladder. Um, if you can't afford one of those right now, they can be a little pricey. They're always on sale on Black Friday, just a tip if you're ever needing to upgrade. Um, this one is um, a 18 or 17 footer technically, and that does most residential work for me. I'm able to use that for anything that's inside up to two stories. If you're having three-story windows or you have basements in your area, then you're going to want to get something a bit taller, um, probably 24 feet, and you might want an extension ladder for the outside. It'll be a little lighter, easier to carry around for the exterior. But inside, this would be my first go-to ladder because it's so adjustable. Like I said before, you can set it up on a stairway and actually reach higher levels. And then combined, if you can't get that, at least get a pole. This is a 12-footer. Um, they give you that extra reach. It's almost required for doing um, commercial work. Residential, it's very helpful to have. Um, you can always upgrade to get a nicer pole later on, but just whatever they have at Home Depot or Lowe's that can get up to 12 feet or so, that will do a lot of good. You're also gonna wanna make sure that you have some boot covers. I used to get the disposable ones um, because they seemed like a good deal and I could get new ones for each job, um, but I found these ones, even though they look a little more funny, they can feel like wearing giant slippers walking around the house. Um, they are very easy to clean. You just spray a little bit of soap water and wipe it off. And you never want to go into a house barefoot. You take your shoes off, even if they were smelling good at the beginning of the day. If you go at the end of a day, end of a job, you've been working, you've been sweating, your feet might have gotten a little wet and now your socks are gonna smell bad, so you take your shoes off. You don't need to welcome somebody or make them feel welcome in their house with the smell of your feet. So um, just slip these right over top of your shoe and they make a tremendous difference. It also makes you look very professional and they're not that expensive. They're less than 15 bucks, guys. You can get them on Amazon or Window Cleaning Resource and they are something that every residential window cleaner must have on their belt. Last but definitely not least, you need to get some steel wool. You'll hear it called quad zero because it has four zeros. It's the extra fine. The brand doesn't matter. It's made the same way. And this is what you want to use to attack the finer grime. If there's pollen or bug slop on the outside sap, um, inside next to the kitchen windows, typically there's some grease and oil junk that gets on the glass, little particles, and this helps to get it off a lot easier. Eventually you want to definitely get a razor blade. You should probably just at least start with like a two inch scraper razor blade, but it always has to be clean 
and a brand new blade in order to properly remove any type of paint or other heavy debris. So be careful with that. If it starts to rust, um, you will scratch the glass and you want to use a lot of soap when you do it to avoid that. Um, but I love the Unger ones, um, the, you know, the Ninja, I forget exactly what it's called, but the Unger Ninja, um, it, it rotates so you can use it on a pole and get a better angle. And um, I use a holster too. That's one of those things that might be in the next group. Maybe you can't afford it right now. Just get something to remove some paint that you come across. You can always say, hey, I don't do paint removal. I just clean the glass. And when you're starting out, you can kind of slide by without that. But that's one of those things that's kind of right in the middle. You may need it, but you might be able to get by without it for at least a couple weeks before you do your first job and then go buy it. So it's, it belongs in that first group, but if you have to wait to the second group, that's good to go. Again, these are the window cleaning tools that I suggest that you have to have in order to start cleaning windows. There's a few more things that you might wanna to add to your arsenal if you have the extra couple hundred dollars to get started. I'll go ahead and include those in a video coming up right here.